What's up guys, this is Matt from MM Tech for Geeks, and today I will be showing you how to flash a factory image on your Nexus device. This will work on all Nexus devices in the same similar steps, except some stuff might be different, but it's pretty much the same thing and you the same process. So th I hope this tutorial helps you out. If you need any assistance on this, feel free to comment on the video and let me know if you need anything. So let's get started. First, you're going to have to go to the developer's website, Google developers, uh, and you're gonna have to go to this page, which is their factory images for Nexus devices. On the right side, you're gonna have to find your device. So I'll be using my Nexus 7 for this video since I already installed Marshmallow on my Nexus 5. So my device is Razer for Nexus 7. 2013 Wi-Fi. So once you click that, it'll take you to the section dedicated to it. And the one on the bottom is Marshmallow. Usually the one on the bottom is the latest version, so you're gonna download that. And I already have it downloaded, so let's go to the next step. Next, you're going to have to download the ADB, ADB package, which is Android Bridge Debug. Uh, you can find that, this is their homepage, but you can find that by clicking download over here and then you have to click other download options and then you have to download one of these in the SDK tools only. Or you can do what I did. There's a nice tool on the XTA developers website, minimal ADB and fastboot. You can download this, install this in just a few minutes and you have everything ready to go. That's what I did and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So now you can have to extract the factory image. And so I already have that extracted, of course. And next you're gonna have to copy the ADB files or you can copy the extracted files to the ADB folder. I wouldn't do that because I would get confused. So these are the four files you have to copy. And so I already have them copied over here, in my extracted image folder. And now the next step is we have to reboot the device into fast boot mode in order for this process to continue. So as you can see over here, my device is on. Now you are gonna to have to hold the power button, power it off. And then after it powers off, you're gonna to have to hold the button, the power button and the volume down button until you see this screen, this screen. And that, now you are ready to go with the flashing process. So the next step, I'm going to also be using a tutorial because I'm not a pro at this, but let's load this tutorial up. So first you're going to have to unlock your bootloader if it's not already unlocked because this is what's required to, you know, mess around with the device. If you have it locked, you can't do anything obviously. So you have to copy this command and now you're gonna have to open a command prompt you can click shift on the folder and shift and uh, left click and then you can open com command window here so that's what I have done and then you can type out fastboot OEM unlock and the bootloader is already unlocked so I don't have to do that again now you can erase every single partition on the device so Fast boot, erase boot, fast boot, erase catch, fast boot, erase recovery, and fast boot, erase system. And so now the first step is to flash the boot loader. So the name of the bootloader is right over here. So you can copy that command prompt window. So fast boot flash bootloader. The name of the bootloader is this. And now you have to reboot the bootloader. And so as you can see on the camera, the device is back on the bootloader screen again. And so now the next thing we have to do is flash the image. I. Uh, you could flash it with this file, flashall.bat. It does everything for you, but sometimes that doesn't end up working, so I like to do it manually. The radio is not required because this is not a tablet with data. 
it does not have cellular signals built in it's just a Wi-Fi only tablet so I'm gonna be doing the image file uh, manually so first in order to do that you're gonna have to extract it and so now it's gonna extract and I like to do this in order to not confuse myself move all these files to the main folder and then I can delete this and so now we're gonna go back to the command prompt window and we're gonna start off by flashing system so fastboot flash system that system that ing and so now it's flashing system and erasing it So now it's done flashing system and now we flash boot. So fast boot flash boot boot IMG. Now we flash recovery. Fast boot flash recovery recovery dot IMG. And now we fast boot flash the catch. So catch dot IMG. So now that's done. And now I want to erase the user data in order for this to be a stable, bug-free installation. I don't. I want my de device to be like brand new. I don't want it to be messed up from the lollipop that I previously had. So fast boot erase user data. So now it's going to format the partition. And now fast boot flash user data user data dot img. And now that after this is done, the device has been flashed and it is brand new. And now we can reboot the device after this is done. So now we can reboot the device by typing in fast boot reboot. And as you can see, the device is now restarting and we're gonna be booted, booting up into a marshmallow screen in just a few minutes. So I'll speed that up and I'll tell you how long it took because the first boot usually takes longer than a standard boot. And so there you can see the mar new Marshmallow boot up animation. So now it is done. You can see that we are in the Marshmallow welcome screen and now we can set the device up. But yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. The next video, I will show you how to root your device. In Marshmallow, it's kind of different than what previous Androids have had because they have modified the kernel which blocks rooting and so you have to flash a new kernel and all that type of technical stuff. So I will cover that in the next video. But yeah, thanks for watching.